This is the back of my garage. In today's video, I'm gonna turn all of that into this. Today, I will show you step-by-step step how I installed my garage shelving system. For my shelves, I chose the Everbelt hang track system from Home Depot, but there's also the closet made hang track and the rubber made fast track systems. All these systems use wire shelving or melamine shelving, but you can use MDF or plywood and make your own shelves. I will show you the cost breakdown for this entire project and why I chose the hang track shelf system over building custom wooden shelves. But first, let me show you how I installed these awesome garage shelves. The first component I'll be installing will be the hang track or the top track. I'm gonna install this right up against the existing hang track system that I have. I'm gonna be lining up these holes with the studs. There's a few studs that didn't quite line up, so I drilled my own one quarter inch holes. After this, I'll be installing my vertical rails and I'll be installing those right over top of the studs. But first, let's get this top track mounted. I'm gonna use some 16 penny nails to hold the top rail in place while I attach the screws to the rest of the studs. I'll be drilling pilot holes because my screws are two inches long. Number 10, two inch pan heads. You can see I've got the two inch pan head screws are installed in all the studs all the way down through there. So our next step is going to be to install the vertical rail and we're going to put these vertical rails right over top of the studs. So the vertical rails pop right into the track just like that and they have holes already in them, quarter inch holes and I'll be attaching screws. But first I need to find where all the studs are. Here's a power tip. To find the studs, use a stud finder like the stud buddy. I like to use the stud buddy because it's magnetic and it sticks to the screws. So as you pass over a screw on the wall, it sticks right to it. So that tells me exactly where the studs are. Each time it finds a stud, it finds the screw and it sticks right to it pretty cool. I'll leave an affiliate link down below. The screws I'll be using for my vertical rails are number 10, two and a half inches long. I chose two and a half inches. That way each screw will be well over an inch into the studs. Now that I've located each one of the studs, I'll just level down and drill a pilot hole. Now I can fasten the screw to the stud. Now I'll go ahead and hang all my vertical rails. I'll just work my way down, leveling and drilling pilot holes, and then I'll go back and I'll put in my anchors. Next, I've installed my shelf brackets. These are 16 inch shelf brackets, and these install right into the slots of the vertical rails. Now I want my shelf to be about 24 inches. So I just measured down 24 inches on each one and I've gone ahead and put all of those in. I also want a second shelf down below and I want this one to be about 20 inches off the ground. So the very last slot in the rail is perfect. So to cut this shelving, I like to use a cutoff wheel on a grinder. Now we'll install the shelf. I've got it positioned where I want it and we'll slide it into place. And now that it's into position, I just wanna pull it until it clicks. Just like that. I'll work my way down and I'll pull each one until they click. I could have built custom shelving out of wood. Why did I choose the hang track shelving system? Adjustability and expandability. I can adjust these shelves to accommodate anything that I want to put on there. And I can expand this system at any time. I can add another shelf. And what about the price? Well, 
I spent $350 on this system. That might seem like a lot to you, but have you seen the price of lumber lately? A sheet of plywood is nearly 50 bucks. And these shelves are strong. Now, warning, this is just a demonstration. I don't recommend that you do this with your shelves, but each one of these waters weighs 27 pounds and there's 75 pounds of cat litter. That's almost 700 pounds on that shelving system. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and check out some of my other videos. I'm glad you watched and I hope you watch again.